intersection point between a straight line and a plane works the following. So first we need to have an uh, intersection, which you can produce like this. And then you see, can you see the, the, the point where the straight line goes right through the plane? Can you see it? This is the point we want to calculate in the following. And it's not too complicated. And the thing about intersection points is always, or intersection lines is always you have to equate, since when, when you want to calculate intersection point or line or whatever between A and B, then you always have to equate A and B. And you have to solve this equation towards a certain variable and you will end up with uh, the intersection point or intersection line. So this is always how it works. You have to equate something and then solve for some x or for some y. You have just to solve it for some variable and you will end up with a section point or intersection line or whatever intersection thingy. I will show you how it works. How to calculate the intersection point of a plane and a straight line. Actually, not too difficult. I'm going to show you how it works. So first we are going to have a look at an example, which is the following. We have a plane, which is 3x1 minus 10x2 plus 4x3 equals minus 1. And note that this is the coordinate representation of the plane. Then we have a straight line, which is S, which is minus 7, minus 1, 1, and plus R times minus 4, minus 3, minus 3. And now the, the trick of everything, how to calculate it, is just to write the straight line as a general point put in this general point in our plane definition and then we end up with a well, with a value for r and we put in this r in the uh, definition of the straight line and then we end up with a point and this point then is the intersection point maybe it sounds a little bit difficult but it is not and i'm going to show you how it works. So we have the straight line and just as I said we write the straight line as a general point. So a general point with in our example we have three dimensions so a general point also must have or should have three dimensions. So x1 is minus 7 minus 4r. Right? I just write the uh, first dimension now as x1. Second dimension, so we have minus 1 minus 3r. Then we have x3, which is 1 minus 3r. And note that r is element r. And what else? What I just said, uh, we put in now those three values in our plane definition, so that's what we're going to do, 3 times minus 7 minus 4r minus 10 times minus 1 minus 3r plus 4, 1 minus 3r equals minus 1. Now what we want to do is we want to calculate what is r, so that we can put in r in our straight line definition. So just calculate it, 3 times 7, minus 21, minus 12r, plus 10, plus 30r, plus 4, minus 12r, equals minus 1. Now we have something here without r that we can add or subtract to the other thing without r, and this is also no r. So these we can add or sub subtract. Subtract and so minus 21 plus 14 and we end up with uh, 7 and that's a minus 7. 
then we have uh, 24, 30R minus 24, which is 6R, equals minus 1. Then we put the 7 on the other side. Then we end up with 6R equals 6. We divide by 6 and R equals 1. So looks quite nice in this example. Now, as I said earlier, we now have just to put the R in our straight line definition. And then we receive our intersection point, which is then minus 7, minus 1, 1, plus R is 1. So 1 times minus 4, minus 3, minus 3. Then we can write as minus 7, minus 4, minus 1, minus 3, 1, minus 3. And then this is minus 11 minus 4 and minus 2. So it's, it's that easy. You just have to realize what is the, where is your exercise. So this is our exercise. Then you have to write the straight line as a general point. That's what we did here. And then you put your general point in the definition of the of the plane, then you solve for r, or for this uh, variable at this point, for the in front of the directional vector. This is the directional vector. This is the support vector, and we want to know what is r. So we solve for r. Then we put in the r, calculate it, and we end up with the intersection point. So not too difficult. You should practice, of course, the procedure a little bit so that you're quick. And so that you can solve it when you write, when, when you take an exam very quickly and without any mistakes. Thanks for watching. Practice makes perfect further exercises with solutions you can find on my website, which is www.worksheets.com.